hello everyone and welcome to a new video in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can add christmas effect to your website so in this tutorial we're going to be doing several things like changing our cursor from this normal cursor to a christmas tree adding snowfalls to our website and several other effects so without wasting time let's get started with the tutorial so the first thing we need to do is log into our wordpress admin area and while we're here the first thing we're going to do is to change our cursor and to do that we're going to come to plugins and select add new so right there, we're just going to search for cursor and this is the plugin we're going to be using this WP custom cursor. So install the plugin and also activate the plugin. Okay. So the plugin has been installed and activated. We're just going to scroll down and then we're going to click on settings under the WP custom cursors. So we're going to click on settings and we're going to click on this here. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is to click on the image cursor and then we're going to upload our image. So one, the, one that, what I did is that I went to iconscouch.com to get this free Christmas tree PNG icon. So you can also get your own icon from the website. So I'm just going to select this icon and select cursor. And then I'm going to click on this green set click points. And I'm going to drag this red icon to the top here. I'm going to click on save and next and um, next. Also, we're just going to click on next and save the cursor. So the cursor has been saved by the time we visit our website, we're going to see that our cursor has been replaced with this Christmas tree icon that we had earlier. So this is the number one way in which you can use to add Christmas effects to your website. So let's check the second option. So the second plugin we're going to be checking is called Christmas effects or Christmas weather. But let's just go to plugins and select add new. And then I'm just going to search for Christmas effects. Okay, so um, the plugin name is actually weather effect, not Christmas effect. So we're just going to select this and install the plugin. Also activate the plugin. Okay, so the plugin has been installed and activated. And by the time we check our admin menu bar here, we're going to see another option that says weather effect. So click on it. All right, so right here, we're going to enable this plugin. And then we're going to choose the weather. So we're going to be selecting Christmas as we are celebrating Christmas. And if you want to celebrate New Year, you can also choose for New Year. But I'm going to be choosing Christmas in this tutorial. And what we want, we're going to choose the Christmas effects. Or you can either choose the snowfall effect. But let's start with the Christmas effects. So let's activate all the effect settings that this plugin has to offer. So I'm going to activate the Christmas balls. Activate the Christmas bells. Candy, gifts, snowman. And also snow, um, snowflake. And I'm going to leave every other thing as it is. I don't want to mess with the settings. You can just mess with it when you're trying out the plugin for yourself. So I'm going to click on save. And by the time we come to our website to refresh the page, we're going to have these um, icons falling on our website. So you see, this looks beautiful. And then you can use it to people, people. You can use it to post people in the mood of Christmas and let them know that okay, we're in the Christmas season and. Um, it's just a cool thing to use on your website. And let us check the second option that says snowfall effect. So we're going to choose snowfall effects and we're going to leave every other thing as it is. And then we're going to come down to save. And um, let us refresh this page. All right. So this one is going to add snowfall to our website. Um, let's also check some other option. Let's, let's, um, disable the round type. So let's choose no for this and let's see how it's going to look like. And let me just refresh this page. Okay, so uh, this is just going to reduce the size. You can, as I, like I said earlier, you can just play around with all the settings here. And um, let's move to the third plugin that I have to show you in this tutorial. The last plugin we're going to be talking about in this tutorial is called Christmasify. So let's install the plugin. Come down to plugins as usual and select add new. And here we're just going to search for Christmasify. And I'm going to install the plugin and also activate the plugin. Okay, so we've installed and activated the plugin. Let's click on settings. And okay, so we're just going to check the basic settings that this, that this plugin has to offer. So it says I want snowflakes and we're just going to choose medium. And we're going to leave the snow speed to medium too. And we're going to make sure this one is checked. Alright, so this plugin can also add music to your website. So which music do you want our visitors to listen to? We're, going, we're just going to choose We Wish You a Merry Christmas. And content styling, we're going to choose Flying Santa. We're going to choose Christmas decoration for images. And if you want to change your heading also to make it have some type of Christmassy fonts, you can also tick this option. 
So I'm just going to tick this option to show you the full potential of this plugin and let's save changes. So by the time we'll come to our website to refresh the page, we're going to see that the changes have taken place and then we can see the snowfall effect on our website. And one thing I really wish, and also you can see the Santa that is flying across the screen also. And one thing I really wish the developers of this plugin did is that instead of the audio to have a, um, a, a, an audio player interface on your website, they should just make this audio play in the background that the users don't have to control the speed or you know control the volume or every that thing unless they're going to do that um, normally with their phone volume or laptop volume but I really feel there should be a way to play this audio in the background without having this audio player right here but um, this plugin is actually cool despite the fact that it's free it is a cool plugin and as you can see the font has changed also to this Christmas font so let's actually visit a better page so I'm just going to visit one of my landing pages here Alright, so on this page, we can have a better look um, of this um, plugin. You can see the snowfalls, you can see the texts and the headings. It has been changed and every other thing has been changed on this website. So, so this is a beautiful way to add some Christmas effect to your website and then put people in the Christmas and the festive season, you know, the whole energy of the Christmas period. So thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like on this video and also don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And I wish you Merry Christmas and also wish you a Happy New Year in advance. So thank you for watching this video and keep on creating something awesome.